Hello and welcome to the second lecture of this course, Molecular Dynamics. Here I will give you a little brief introduction to molecular docking because sometimes it needs to do molecular docking before you actually run a molecular dynamics simulation. So uh, as you uh, can feel that in the first lecture, I have introduced you to a concept of how to solve a research problem by using molecular dynamics simulation tools. And you may wonder that I don't have any background in this particular topic, but don't worry, we'll go step by step uh, to know the theory and related software uh, of molecular dynamics simulation. And many a times what happens is that when someone is creating uh, a lecture series on molecular docking on dynamics, uh, sometimes students cannot uh, relate to the topic because uh, people are from different backgrounds. For example, sometimes uh, material science people don't understand what I'm talking from biomolecular points of view uh, or and vice versa. Uh, and sometimes people come from different major and uh, different terminologies or jargons may not be uh, familiar with you. Again, don't worry. We'll uh, try to uh, go through every topic and subject uh, step by step, and uh, we will segment uh, it into little pieces so that you can understand. And we will learn all the underlying principles and cross-platform functionalities. And we'll take care of the jargons and terminologies you don't understand or you find difficulty to relate with. So if, if I'm talking about a biomolecular system and you're from a material science uh, major, uh, you will not have a difficulty to relate with it because uh, I will show you how to uh, use that from your uh, perspective. So as we have discussed that the organization of the course is uh, we will uh, talk about the theory of MD and MD software and servers, but many a times we have to run molecular docking before running a dynamics. So I will uh, dedicate this particular lecture on molecular docking. So what is actually molecular docking? In docking, we uh, determine the interaction between two biomolecules, for example, a target protein and a small ligand. And by molecular docking, we determine how they interact. Uh, what is their type of interaction, bonded or non-bonded uh, uh, perspective? Now, why do we do molecular docking? We want to get interaction inside. This is very relevant, particularly uh, to biomolecular systems. And many a times you want to do uh, drug design and you want to know uh, how a ligand particularly binds with uh, at the target protein or protease of a disease. So uh, from those particular point of view, you want to uh, make uh, an initial system or uh, with optimum coordinates. And for that, you do uh, molecular docking. And how you can do this uh, molecular docking? Uh, you can do it two ways, by use several softwares like Rosetta or Autodoc. And you can also use some online servers like PatchDoc plus FireDoc and Hadoop and Classroom. And uh, they are all particularly parameterized for particular level of interactions. So you should first go through their documentation and publication page uh, to know their underlying principle. And uh, how do these molecular docking software or server work? Uh, sometimes it works on a lock and key mechanism, for example, induced fit mechanism. Uh, like when a protein comes in the vicinity of another protein or biomolecule or a small ligand, uh, the lock and key system, uh, in a lock and key system, they actually lock with each other according to their uh, 3D, uh, coordinate, uh, 3D coordinate or their conformation in the space. And sometimes uh, energy-related parameters or biomolecular uh, parameters come into play and sometimes you work with knowledge-based structures. Again, these are parameterized for particular software or server. So this is uh, an example. For example, when uh, you work with patch doc, you submit the PDB file uh, for a receptor molecule and a ligand molecule, and then you submit it in their server, and they give you a bunch of uh, predicted combinatory structure of the protein and the ligand, and then you refine, with, uh, refine it with FireDoc. 
uh, to get more energetically viable or structurally viable structures. And this is another uh, interface of class pro, which is uh, particularly parameterized for protein protein docking. Uh, here you also upload the PDB ID or the file or the receptor and ligand, and you apply some advanced options, if you will, and then you dock. There are also some other software like Haddock Rosetta, and every software has uh, many related functionalities like you uh, can visualize or you can make a really good tables of non-bonded interactions. Did, uh, this actually depends on how you want to proceed with your molecular docking. Molecular docking is particularly a different uh, subject and you can study independently from molecular dynamics, but many a times, especially for biomolecular simulations, you want to create an optimized system before you run your molecular dynamics. That's why I have given you a, a brief introduction of molecular docking, and I hope that it will come in, uh, come in handy. And in next lecture uh, will be the real uh, beginning of our course, and we will start with molecular dynamics theory, and we will dive deep into what happens, really happens in molecular dynamics when you create a system, what is actually going on. So. Uh, uh, let's uh, go to the next lecture and I will see you there. Thanks.